G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, as I do every week and most of you guys that watch these videos enjoy them, so thank you. Uh, it absolutely means the world to me that you guys tune in every Monday to see my uh, Rabbitohs team list predictions. So, we are on to round 25, the final round of the year very excited for this one now i am going to do it as normal but it's going to be a little bit different as well at the same time reason being is um last night in the press conference jason demetrio came out and said that he's more than likely going to rest players next week um there won't be too many getting rested but that there is a chance he'll rest players and i'll talk a bit about that at the end but um, if we're not resting players, this is the lineup I think we will go with. Uh, if we are resting players, I'll let you know who I think will rest. All right, jumping straight into it. Latrell Mitchell at fullback, Alex Johnston and Isaac Thompson slash Tane Milne on the wing. The reason I've gone uh, the slash in the middle there is I think if Isaac Thompson still isn't right, we'll go with Tane Milne. Um, obviously, Campbell Graham and Isaiah Tass, the centres. Campbell Graham is actually in the number four jersey. Tass is in the number three. Um, I've just got them around the wrong way there. Cady Walker at 5'8", Lockie Elias at halfback. Junior Totola and Hame Sele in the front rows. Uh, I thought Hame Sele was brilliant on the weekend, so I think he keeps his starting spot. Saliva Havili into number nine as Damian Cook is unlikely to, uh, to play with the um, seven-day isolation. I'm recording this on Sunday, so I don't know what his uh, PCR test has come back with yet. There could be a chance he plays. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, recording this at about 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. So I've done a bit of looking around, but there's still no news update on Damien Cook. So uh, back to it. Keon Kalol Matungi in the second row with Jai Arrow, Cameron Murray at lock and captain. On the bench, Cody Nikarima, Mark Nichols, Daniel Saluka for feeder, and Thomas Burgess. Blake Taff is the 18th man. The reserves, Davey Mawale, Tane Milne slash Isaac Thompson, um, basically flipped to what it is in the starting squad. Obviously, if Isaac is fit to go, he gets that number five jersey, and Tane Milne goes on to the reserves. Uh, then we've got Peter Mum as well as in the number 21 jersey and Michael Cheekamp in the number 22. Michael Cheekamp made a successful return on the weekend and it was fantastic in my opinion. All right, so uh, I feel like if we are to rest players, I think there might be three or four we look at resting. I think Alex Johnston's pretty much summed up the... Um, the top try scorer for 2022, unless Corey Oates scores eight tries for the Broncos against the Dragons, then Alex Johnston has run away with it. So I think Alex Johnston could be a player that we rest. Uh, I believe if um, Isaac Thompson is fit, Tane Milne goes into that number two jersey and Jackson Barlo comes on to the reserves. Um, if Isaac Thompson is not fit, Jackson Barlow plays in the number five jersey. All right. Uh, next player, I think Cody Walker and Lachlan Ilias will both play um, as I do the rest of the one through to five. Campbell Graham might get rested, but I doubt it. I think I think he will play because he did miss a large chunk in the middle, and I think match fitness-wise, we're probably going to want him to be at his best. So I, I reckon he plays there. Uh, the first player in the forwards, I think we rest Junior Totola if uh, if coach is going to rest players. And I'd say Daniel Saluka for feeder starts with Hame Sele. Um, the second rowers, I'd say Kion Kolo Matangi probably gets a rest. As well as Jai Arrow, I think both those players could potentially be rested. Uh, Michael Cheekham could come straight in there for Keon. And then maybe um, Jed Cartwright comes in for Joy Arrow or something like that. I, I do believe Cameron Murray will play. The way Jason Demetrio was talking last night, Murray will, will play regardless. Uh, Bench-wise, Cody Nicarima, I think, stays on the bench. 
Mark Nichols, I think will Mark and Tom are enormous when they come off the bench. So I think both those players stay on the bench. And then someone like uh, maybe David Mawale joins the uh, the bench there. So that is my take on if we are to rest players. I think AJ, um, Totola, Keon and Jai Arrow all get rested. Um, and then we still, I still think that's a team that can take it to the Roosters. I honestly do. Like, you know, we've still got a really, really quality side. I just love our depth. I think it's amazing. So, yeah, look, I think um, there's definitely a lot of options for us if we are to rest players. I don't think the coach is going to go out and rest half the team. I think he'll only rest about four, maybe five players. Uh, that fifth being probably like a Campbell Graham, maybe one of the halves. I know Cody Walker has played the whole season, so maybe they look at bringing in Cody Nickarim or bring Blake Taff into that number 14 jersey. Um, there are just a few options there, guys. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know. Do you think we will rest more players than the ones I've listed? Do you think we'll rest any players? Personally, I'd like to get a home final, so beating the Roosters would be would be crucial for us. As well, if um, Storm do end up beating the uh, the Eels, then we could potentially move up to fifth spot with a win here, which would mean we play either the Broncos or the Raiders in the first week of the finals. And I think that's a huge uh, chance we win in that game. Uh, I think playing a team like Eels or Roosters would be a lot more difficult. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear from you guys. But that is going to wrap it up for me. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are new around here, hit that like button, hit that sub button. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Thank you.